not rain just yet. Rain is on the way. Taking a look at our drought monitor that was issued out today. This is the latest information on the drought across the West Coast. As you can see, a lot of the state of California and along with most of the West Coast is in between that severe to extreme category when it comes to the drought conditions there. So this rain is certainly going to be needed. As we take a look at California's snowpack here, a lot of the state is just at the statewide average or a little below. So you can see Central and South, they're pretty good, just a tad bit over that 50% average. As you head a farther off to the north, we're a little bit below that, about 6% below the average needed for that snowpack as we head into these upcoming months. So as we take a look at this rain that's on the way here, you can see that area of low pressure off the coast there, bringing in a lot of rain from San Francisco all the way down towards Bakersfield. Once you get to Bakersfield, you actually see a little bit more rain poking in there. So some heavier rain off to the south there. That continues for most of Monday into the 5 o'clock hour, still dealing with the rain. Now we see snow more on the interior portions of the Sierra Nevada. And then again, that all filters in off to the west coast, heading into Tuesday afternoon and evening before pushing off to the central portions of the country. So this rain is certainly needed. Let's take a look at some of the heavier batches of rain. Again, just to the south of Bakersfield and to the north of Los Angeles, two to three inches of rain expected off a little further off to the north there, up to an inch of rain for San Francisco. All in all, we really do need this rain across the West Coast. We've seen the drought conditions there, so this is certainly going to help from here on out. Take a look at San Francisco's next couple of days here. As we head into early next week, we have rain for the weekend, especially Sunday evening into Monday. Most of Monday, we'll deal with some showers as well. Heading into Monday evening, we finally dry out, but those temperatures start to go on the cooler side, back into the upper 40s, 48 for the evening hours. And then by Tuesday, we try to pick it back up with dry conditions and warmer temperatures into the 60s. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.